Yes here and today's video I'm discussing week 7 of my European Sprint Triathlon program. Welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new to the channel welcome and please like and subscribe to my content. So today's video is about week 7 of my European Sprint Triathlon training programme and I'm all dressed up in a GB kit and I've got a GB hat on and um, I've got a hat on because my hair is a complete mess at the moment and um, I haven't had a haircut since October so in the coming weeks I'm going to be getting a haircut once the hairdresser's open. Anyway, enough said of that. On to the video and it's week seven of my European Sprint Triathlon training program and um, the European Sprint Triathlon Championships is in Valencia and it's been announced that it will go ahead in 20, between the, well, the 25th to the 26th, the weekend of September. Yay, I can't wait and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. And as you all know, my training is all geared up towards this and my goal is to make the podium on my debut. And um, it, um, I'm working hard at the moment to try and make the impossible the possible and um, therefore to achieve my goal and I'll try my best. I, I like to have unrealistic, I, I call them unrealistic targets because I know that you, if you work, I, I will work hard towards it and it will keep me super motivated and therefore I can um, try my best and um, get near it and even or beat it. So when I first started I couldn't swim and I became a European champion in my age group in um, in 2019. So the impossible can become the possible again. So on to the week's training, my update and how it's going. And um, so Monday I did uh, zone two watt bike session, 60 minutes, and then I did 60 minutes on um, running on zone two, um, just as my um, coach Mark Shepherd described. And I did some turbo, uh, sorry, some swim training on my Zen 8 trainer in the um, in the evening, about 20 minutes on drill work. So I'm still working in the background, a bit of swim work until I can swim when the pool's open. So I'm not too fussed at the moment about the, not being able to swim, but I know I'm gonna be able to swim in, next, uh, in, the, well, in the coming weeks, as soon as the pool's open. I'm still not brave enough to go into the, um, into the sea, because um, it's too cold. Tuesday, I um, did strength session, and then I had a, um, I, I'm part of a run study. I'm doing some testing at the moment. My coach, Mark, said it was a good idea to do it. Give me a bit of a break at the moment. Uh, take my mind off things um, when I'm training. So I was doing it with Tony, who coaches Olympians. And um, this one was uh, 40. Um, so I turned up to, I had to do it around a track and I had to run 40 minutes easy. And then I had to uh, do, a, uh, I had five minutes off uh, um, recovery and then I had to do 1500 meter time trial. Now this was part of a study to see uh, different bouts of training, different, like if you do different um, parts of training, which I'll explain later on what I did on the Friday, um, how does it affect your, um, if you were to race or how it affects you, like a time trial and how your quality of session. So I um, did 40 minutes, which was worked out, um, you had to go between five and five out of 10, um, the RPE scale of going by feeling and um, I um, ended up, um, so you're not allowed to look at your watch and I ended up doing um, 7 minutes 16s per mile, I worked out zone 2, so my zone 2 training, that's how it felt, it felt like it was and then um, I did the 1500 metre time trial and that was um, four, uh, 4 minutes 46, so I was really happy with that because when I did a similar study with Tony a few years back, my PB, um, just doing the 1500 metre time trial straight was um, for um, four, 444. So I'm two seconds off my best already. But again, that was a zone two training. And then at the end, I did a hard, you know, a little bit of a hard session. And then um, on the Wednesday, I did, um, I just did a 60 minute zone two session, followed uh, on the Watt bike, followed by another zone two run. And it all went well. Thursday was a um, strength session, so um, and we're still working with my um, strength coach, Craig Coggle, and um, we're gonna start changing up the sessions um, soon, because um, I'm, I'm about four weeks away from my first race. So my first race is in 
start of April, it all goes ahead. And um, then um, I did uh, 60 minutes on the Watt bike, as, uh, sorry, 60 minutes zone two, um, uh, sorry, 60 minutes on the bike, sorry, on Thursday, zone two. And then on Friday, uh, I had um, intervals and um, on the um, on the bike, so I had to do two and a half minutes really hard with three minutes recovery and I had to repeat that another four times. Thanks Mark for giving me that session. And I had to do the testing later on as well. Um, so I did the testing and the test session on um, at the track for running. I um, had to run at 10 minutes at an eight out of 10. So like a, te so a tempo run. And um, that worked out for me about five minutes uh, 40 mile in. I didn't want to overdo it and then um, I did my my um, 1500 meter time trial after a five minute break again and um, that was a four uh, 4.52 so I was only six seconds slow but, but obviously I had the harder a bit of the harder session so I'm looking forward to that um, the next test in in the, follow, the following week and then I had uh, did my swim training as well on, on my Zen 8 trainer, working on that, about 20 minutes on that. Saturday was a rest day. Sunday was um, a 90 minute uh, watt bike session. So I didn't go out this week. I, um, I went out with a friend the previous week um, and I loved it, going out and actually enjoying the um, session, uh, well, going out on the bike, but it was a bit chilly, but I had to do 30 minutes zone two, then 30 minutes zone three, and then th 30 minutes zone to um, power zones these are and then I did a strength session swim specific strength session that Craig Cog Coggle was sent me, uh, set me and then I did um, some swim training for about 25 minutes working on technique um, so hopefully I can get back onto the pool um, in regards to training the week was a successful week um, I'm definitely in great shape I know I'm in great shape the only thing that's in the back of my mind that's giving me a bit of a, a bit of a roy is obviously my um, swim training but I know I can pick that up and I'm looking forward to getting back into swimming um, as soon as the pools open up quite soon so in regards to races my races have changed and um, that because of the government announcement so I have no races in March now but my first race will be Easter Sunday um, a, the Dartford Sprint Giraffalon which is a 5k run uh, 20k bike ride around a cyclo park and then 5k run so I'm looking forward to it I'm using Giraffalons as a bit of a tester um, well to to train um, a training race more for um, for my triathlons this year so I've got one then and then I've got one um, a few weeks later again and hopefully uh, moving on to that my first triathlon is on the 17th of May which is a qualifier so I'm hoping to get into swimming by then so guys thanks for watching uh, please um, drop a like and a comment how's your training going and let me know are you on track to your, for your goals this season thanks for watching and the uh, champions of the uh, this age of category Henrietta Tarasevic and Yanis Christodoulou Christodoulou